We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is... What's the day, babe? Wow, it's... it's yeah. Saturday, December the 12th. 12th. And we're actually in Raw Evolution right now in Santa Monica, you know, Matt Amson's place. And um, we're just sitting here, I seriously feel like I'm in London. <laughs> I've just got all these United Kingdom beautiful women all around me here. They're just like flourishing. How's it going? <laughs> We all know who Angela is, but who do we got here? Chrissy and Kate. Kate. Um, I make raw chocolate. Uh oh. Um, that's like on order, private orders to people and events, um, which is fun. And um, I teach Spanish and German, like private tuition classes. Oh wow. Um, do a spot of modeling here and there. Ah. Yeah. Kate, you are into raw chocolate too. You have all these different bars. Well, we were the first people in the world to make raw chocolate bars. Really? Yeah, we were in 2005. Wow, is that true, Chrissy? Don't <laughs> <laughs> put me on the spot now. Um, yeah, I can were. definitely say that Kate's chocolate was the first I bought, and after trying all of them that were on the market in the UK at the time when I was going raw, Kate's was the best. Definitely. Wow. Still is. Um, Chrissy. Do you have a website where you sell your raw chocolate? Um, it's in the making. It's rawcacaolove.com. Wow. Yeah. Facebook is Chrissy Antia. Um, okay. Yeah. And Chrissy is C H R I double S Y, and Antia is A N T I A. Okay. So, do you want to tell everybody if you have a boyfriend or not? <laughs> Because if you just gave all your information out, and all these people are going to be like... She has! She has! I do! I do. He's very yeah. gorgeous. He is very cute. He's in Canada right now. Um, but he's about... Yeah. She's free for like a week or so. To <laughs> yeah, quick, quick. Make it quick. <laughs> cool. So the real way to find out is go to her Facebook and actually see if it says single or not, because you know how serious they are. <laughs> okay. So Kate, how do what do you, um, how do people get in hold of you, or do you have any websites? Or um, I've got a new website, which is Kate's Magic Bubble, Kate'sMagicBubble.com, and that's where I'm putting everything, all my um, recipes and articles and videos and MP3s. I just did an interview with Angela last week, and that MP3 is up. There's a subscription website, but there's lots and lots of everything that I do there. Uh, My website in England is rawliving.eu. Raw okay. Um, didn't you breastfeed Shazzy's child? <laughs> yeah, I breastfed my own. I breastfed my own children for 10 years. I breastfed for nine and a half years without a break. Wow. I breastfed Evie once, yeah. Oh, wow. How was that experience, bre breastfeeding? Of well, I was still breastfeeding Margaret Zachary, my youngest, and I was looking after Evie one night, and she was upset, and I knew that's what babies want. They want the breast, and I had it. And it was actually a real pleasure, because I know it's really, really hard when you're breastfeeding, because no one else, you can't give your child to anyone else. Your baby wants that from you, and no one else can give it to your baby. And there were so many times when I would have loved to have a break, and I couldn't have a break, because there was no one to take me back. You know, I didn't have any family members around that were particularly supportive or helpful. So I knew how it felt to not be able to get a break. So I was actually really, really, just really glad to be able to give that to Shaz so she could go out for a night and know that Evie was really being well looked after. So did Shazzy know that you might breastfeed her when she was gone or was that afterwards? No, I called her up and I said, look, she needs a feed. Do you want me to give her a feed? And she wow. said, yeah. Because otherwise she'd have had to come back, and she didn't want to come back. She was out having fun. <laughs> so Kate, tell me a little bit about your extraordinary book, Ecstatic Beings. It's my new book with co-author with Shazzy. It just came out um, a few months ago. And um, a lot of people, a lot of people have said it's the best book they've ever read. Wow. Which is quite amazing. Um, it's it's just about our lives really and how we live and I think um, it's about what happens when you do all this stuff you know I've been raw for 17 years I've been doing yoga for 20 years 
and it's what happens when you when you do all this stuff, when you do the raw foods, and you do the work on yourself, and you do work on your positive attitude, and um, you know, do stuff like Reiki and colonics and enemas and all this stuff. When you put it all together, this is about what actually happens when you when you start to become the superhero that you know you are, when you start to feel that way all the time, and you're not. This is like when you're beyond transition and you're in it. How often do you do enemas? <laughs> You do one every two weeks? I do two I do two at a time. So I do one just water and then the second one I put superfoods in. What kind of superfoods? Um, at the moment I'm really into uh, reishi and I always put some oil in. So I usually do hemp oil or flax oil. And I usually put in either aloe vera or noni juice. I always put in some probiotics. I always put in some MSM. And then either reishi or algae or cacao. Did you say you put raw chocolate in your enemas? Yeah, cacao is really good, yeah. Wow. All those minerals going straight in. Wow. One of my favorite is cacao noni hemp. That is a really good combination. When, when I used to live with Kate, she told me that she thought doing an enema with just water was kind of like a waste. Like you could always put something in there. That's so true. So, the goodness. so you, you do enemas also? I do, yeah. How often? Um, also, like every two weeks, every three weeks. I was doing them like weekly for a while, but now not as much. Cool. Uh, coffee or garlic for a while. Wow. Garlic juice. Um, I'd like press garlic cloves. Wow. And, yeah. Cinnamon. <laughs> so why is it a waste not to? Because you absorb nutrients that way or something? Yeah, yeah. So can someone never put anything in their mouth again and survive by just doing nutrient enemas? <laughs> I doubt it. Why not? It wouldn't your gut start failing. I don't know. You don't know? It wouldn't be very yummy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to experiment <laughs> on myself. It's all it takes for the Well, some people like to become breatharianism. Yeah. Yeah. If I was going to be a breatharian, I'd definitely be doing enemas like that. It's a plan. Okay, so the new question of the day, another question of the day is... No, it's, a new, it's a new thing, it's not Breatharian anymore, it's Endomarian. Oh. Endomarian. Okay, do you think that someone can survive Big by endomarian. stop eating, they don't eat food anymore, <laughs> but they take nutrients in through the rear end? You love people. Here we go. I've got an Enderman video on YouTube. I know, I think I saw that. Weren't you like macking out with some guy while doing an Enderman? <laughs> Outrageous. I'm really excited that Kate's here. This is the first time she's ever been in the US. I lived with Kate for like a year, probably, wasn't it? Like on and off, a few years back. And that's when I really like expanded in my raw food world. And before meeting Kate, I was just eating like lettuce. And, <laughs> and the first time I met her, she was like, do you eat any superfoods? And I said, no, I don't really believe in superfoods. I don't really know what they are. I'd been living in Iceland, in like the countryside for years, and she started giving me maca and goji berries and bee pollen and purple corn and spirulina and all kinds of stuff, and I was bouncing off the walls. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really fun to see her here. When you met Matt, I was. Can yeah. I tell that story? Yeah, please. Because um, she told me that she'd met you on the internet, and there was just something about the way she said it. <laughs> And, um, and then I saw your picture on the internet and just I had this feeling like that's Judah's soulmate. And it was one of those things when it, you know, when it like, it wasn't me thinking it, I just, I was like, oh, that's, I, I think I told you. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then you used to send loads of gifts to my house because Judah was living with me. And you used to send like, one Valentine's Day, do you remember this? You filled the whole house with balloons. <laughs> Do you remember? There was I remember, like yeah. 20 like helium balloons and you sent loads of flowers as well. And then the first time I can tell them the first time I ever met you, Matt. Can I tell them? Yeah, yeah. I was walking home, I had a shop in Brighton for a while and I was walking home from the shop and um, I was just walking down my road and this cab was pulling up outside my house and you got out of the cab and we didn't Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.